tutorial video, you will learn how to register an organization and subsequent users on GoAML web interface. But first, a quick look at what GoAML is and how it works. The GoAML application is a fully integrated software solution developed specifically for use by financial intelligence units. It is one of UNODC's strategic responses to financial crime including money laundering and terrorist financing. A number of financial intelligence units around the world are using this software. The Financial Monitoring Unit, also known as FMU, which is the Financial Intelligence Unit of Pakistan, has successfully deployed this system to perform its core functions, including receipt of STRs and CTRs, analysis and dissemination of financial intelligence. An STR or suspicious transaction report is filed for a transaction or activity involving the suspicion of money laundering, terrorism financing, proliferation financing, and predicate offenses. A CTR, Currency Transaction Report, is filed for any cash transaction of 2 million rupees or more. All the reporting entities as defined in Anti-Money Laundering Act 2010 are required to register on GoAML to file suspicious transaction reports and currency transaction reports to FMU. These reporting entities include financial institutions such as banks, exchange companies, insurance companies, leasing companies, brokerage houses, asset management companies and designated non-financial businesses and professions or DNFPPs like real estate agents, jewelers, accountants and lawyers. Besides, government officials and agencies can also file STRs and CTRs with FMU. To file an STR or a CTR, an organization must first register itself with GoAML as a reporting entity and later can also register more users. Please note that the first user registration request from a reporting entity submitted along with the entity registration request will be processed by FMU. Upon finalization of the request by FMU, this user will automatically become the business admin for that entity. However, subsequent user registration requests from that entity will be finalized by the business admin of the entity. This is why it is recommended that a reporting entity's head of compliance or head of AML unit be the first user to request registration. To access the GoAML web interface, browse to the GoAML web interface at www.fmu.gov.pk forward slash GoAML and click register a new organization button. The entity registration form will be uploaded in your browser. The form is clearly organized in four sections. The first section allows you to select one of three entity types, reporting entity, stakeholder or supervisory body. Select the entity type that applies to your organization. If you are a financial institution or DNFBP, select reporting entity. If you are an intelligence agency, law enforcement agency or regulatory body, select stakeholder. Once you pick your entity type, the rest of the form will adjust to meet your data entry needs. You will see that the second section concerns the registering organization and the third deals with the registering person, while the fourth enables you to attach documents. The first form field in the second section is a drop-down list that lets you specify your organization's business type. Carefully select the business type that best describes your organization. For example, if your organization deals in the real estate business, you must select real estate from the available list. The second field is an option group that will let you indicate whether or not your organization is a financial institution. Designated non-financial businesses and professions are required to select no for this field while banks and other entities rendering financial services will select yes. Remember that all form fields marked with an asterisk are mandatory. Please note that clicking the plus signs next to the phones and addresses labels opens a subform that lets you add a phone number or address by clicking the add button. You can add several phone numbers and addresses each phone number must begin with the country code, like for Pakistan 92. 
Then add the rest of your number, excluding the leading zero, like 333-123-1234. Please note that city and province fields are mandatory. In the address subform, be sure to fill out all fields which are applicable to your organization. The third section of the form concerns the registering person. You need to fill out your personal information in this section. Remember that the first user registering organization will be the business admin of that organization. Take special care filling out the first three fields of this section, which are username, email, and password. The username must be the same as email address, and it is recommended that you provide your official email address from your organization's domain. Be careful to guard against typing errors because GoAML will communicate notifications on the registered email address only. Your password must be at least 8 characters long and must include at least one small letter, one capital letter, one numeric character and one special character each. Do not forget to add at least one phone number and an address in this section too. The fourth section helps you upload a letter of authority, which must be on the letterhead of the organization, duly endorsed by an authorized officer of the registering entity. An authority letter must contain basic information of the registering person, like name, designation and CNIC number. A sample authority letter is also available in GoAML Help section. Please note that in the absence of a valid authority letter, FMU will not approve the organization registration request. Finally, you must complete the CAPTCHA before you can submit the form. The simple CAPTCHA used here comprises an image showing an embedded six-digit number and a form field where you need to enter the number. If you are unable to read that number, click the refresh button to its right and a new image will be uploaded without affecting the form fields you filled out. Once you are able to read the number, enter it in the field underneath the image and click the submit request button. If all goes well, a dialog box will appear informing you the info has been submitted and displaying a reference number of the registration request. Note it down for future reference just in case. A registered reporting entity may authorize multiple staff to work with GoAML for reasons of convenience and workload. All such staff must register with GoAML as users to their organization. To register as a user for your organization, open the GoAML web interface and click the button Register a new person. The key step here is to have your organization's GoAML ID handy, which is communicated to the business admin at the time of entity registration. Enter the correct organization ID in the appropriate field and fill out the form with your personal information. The rest of the form fields and their specifications are same as to the registering person section of entity registration form. Your business admin will be able to activate your account immediately after you submit the registration request. If you are a business admin for your organization, it is your responsibility to approve or reject registration requests by users from your organization. To do so, log in to Business Administrator account and click Admin on the top menu. Click the item User Request Management in the sub-menu which will show all user registration requests from your organization. Any pending registration request is distinguishable by the hyperlink waiting for RE Admin to verify. In the column Request Status, click this hyperlink and the request opens in a pop-up window. At the end of this form, there are options to either reject the request or to approve by clicking the Finalize button. Click the Finalize button and your team member's account will be instantly activated. All form fields have simple and intuitive labels and are easy to fill out for most people with basic internet literacy. Hovering the mouse pointer over a field label will instantly bring up simple tooltip text for filling out the field. If you still need guidance about the registration process, click the Help button on the GoAML web navigation bar to get access to help documentation including GoAML registration guide as well as GoAML user guide. If you need further assistance or have any queries about GoAML, please feel free to reach us via goamlhelpdesk at fmu.gov.pk.